Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy Fontek over here on another video. And in this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6s and iOS 10.3.2 to an iPhone 6s and iOS 12 beta 2, guys. Sorry for not uploading a video yesterday, like I usually do, guys, but I was traveling. I just came back home today, so I'm kind of tired. I decided to do this video anyway. So as always, stay tuned. All right, guys, so kind of what up both devices here. That's the one on iOS 10.3.3, and that's on the 12 beta 2. iOS 12 beta 2, so let's see which one will put up faster here. So some bug improvements, fixes here and improvements on the iOS 12 beta 2, bug fixes and improvements. So let's see that if that's, that has anything to do with the boot up. Now it doesn't look like, so iOS 10 is still faster in booting up on iOS 12, at least for now, beta 2. Okay, and there's some difference actually. Okay, here comes iOS 12 beta 2. Shopping into the phones now. Both are about the same. Right guys, here both phones have nothing in the background, so let's just start with the phone dialer. So that was definitely faster on iOS 12. Calendar, that was faster on iOS 12 as well. Going for camera, that seemed identical. Going for maps. And I think that was faster on iOS 12, guys. I mean, you're a judge here, clock, about the same. Going for the weather app, that seemed identical. Going for stocks, and that was faster on iOS 10. The new stock app is still kind of buggy, guys. So settings, faster than iOS 12, good stuff there. Going for the App Store. And that seemed identical here. Next up, guys, here, notes. And let's just show the keyboard here. So definitely keyboard uh, showing up speed was faster, guys, here on iOS 12. You can just type in some stuff. I'm not really typing well. But the point is, guys, that to see if there's any lag. So that's a nice 12. And the thing seems really smooth. Going out, trying iOS 10. So both phones are super, super smooth when it comes to typing here. Now, guys, comes Safari here. And both on Apple.com seemed faster than iOS 10. I'm just going to click on the Apple logo here. That was identical, guys, here. We're super fast on both devices. And now faults for some third-party apps, so starting with Geekbench 4. And that was actually faster on iOS 12. Good stuff there, going for M2 the benchmark. And that was faster on iOS 10. It's all over the place here. Subway Surfers now. Mumbai this time. So any update here. Loading bar appeared first on iOS 10. And yeah, so iOS 10 was actually faster. Leaving, going for Mario Run. Yeah, but I have to say that both phones are super fast, guys. So even iOS 12, beta 2, still super smooth, guys, on iPhone success. Even though that's the fourth update for this phone, technically, guys, that's the fourth uh, OS on this device and still really super fast, guys. I'm really impressed. Google Earth. And that was actually faster on iOS 10. Going for YouTube. And seems identical. Yeah, guys, definitely identical here. Going for eBay. And that looks oh yeah, identical, guys. Good stuff there. Going for Jetpack Joyride. And both kind of update here. So, of course, got to make sure that uh, all games are updated to make it fair enough. And that was slightly faster than iOS 10. Going out was faster than iOS 12. Going for Instagram. Not sure about that. But I'm going to just say it's a throw, guys, here. Going for Temperant 2. So unlike iOS 11, guys, iOS 12 is comparable to iOS 10, or it's even the same, guys. I mean, with iOS 11, we did really notice a big, big downgrade, to be honest, especially in older devices. So the success wasn't that dramatic. Going out, it was faster on iOS 10, 10 per 2. But yeah, on iOS 10, it wasn't that dramatic with a downgrade. iOS 11, iOS, iPhone 6s, guys, sorry, but still loading PUBG now, but still, and there was some downgrade here, okay, guys. They're about the same. Let's just see PUBG here. Sometimes it crashes on iOS 10 for some reason. I don't know why. It seems like it's faster on iOS 12. Not sure here. We're gonna wait and see. Yep, definitely iOS 12 is faster. Good stuff there, guys. Or did it just crash on this phone or something? 
it, it froze. So guys, PUBG, third attempt here. Hoping this time finally it won't crash on the iOS, on iOS 10. Success. Yeah, but it seems like it's faster than iOS 12. Okay, this time. So guys, it's always the third time it actually works on, on the success. All right, so success iOS 12 definitely wins here. I'm just gonna click on play. I'm just gonna click on start here, guys. So I did click on OK at the same time, and it's actually a little bit faster than iOS 10. Let's just... Um, so yeah, guys, both phones are smooth here. Now, guys, just launching AX CPU, just for Filigam RAM. That was faster than iOS 10. Now, guys, for some multitasking here. So phone, calendar, camera, maps. Oh, Maps had to refresh on iOS 10, iOS 12 kept it in the background, good stuff there on iOS 12. eBay, Clock, had to refresh on iOS 12. It's all of, because of PUBG, guys. So PUBG takes up a lot of RAM, so take that into consideration. Weather app, refresh on iOS 12. Box. And now settings, but it looks refreshed. No, it wasn't refreshed on iOS 12. I just had to refresh it, good, good stuff there. Next up, App Store. Had to refresh on iOS 12. Notes. Solid on both. Safari. Good stuff. Geekbench 4. Subway Surfers. I'm just gonna skip uh, onto the benchmark, guys, because it actually refreshed all the time. And actually, Subway Surfers refreshed on iOS 12, but it didn't on iOS 10. Mario Run. Good job on both. Google Earth. Wow. So guys, when I actually launched PUBG, it did really affect the RAM management on iOS 12, though iOS 10 was unaffected to a certain degree. YouTube, Jetpack Joyride, Instagram, Temperan 2, had to refresh on iOS 12, guys. So iOS 10 definitely takes up less RAM. And now guys, the cause of the refresh, the PUBG, Wow, and it had to refresh on iOS 12. And that guy's definitely, definitely iOS 10 is way better when it comes to RAM management. So AX CPU, not, not refreshed. So guys, in general, just gonna leave here. Definitely RAM management, so it's better on iOS 10. I didn't know that, guys, until I actually tested PUBG, which did really do a difference here. Now, guys, for a Geekbench 4 test. So just gonna run CPU scores here and just test it here. All right, guys, here you have the scores, and single core score is identical, guys. Both have 2575 here. Though when it comes to multi core score, iOS 12 definitely scored better here. So 4508, 4463, guys. When I say that with every device I tested from now, iOS 12 has a better multi core score. So that's a good thing here. So yeah, that's good to see. And now, guys, for a final test here and to the benchmark, just want to say, guys, that this phone, the iOS 10, is, has a 99% battery maximum capacity, or this has 95%. So they're about the same, though, yeah, this is slightly better, minus 10 one. And guys, both phones are done here. Uh, so iPhone 6s and iOS tend to score lower. Guys, I want to say that the scores are kind of low because guys, I usually test the phones and then the phones get hot, guys. So they heat up, so scores actually get lower. It's going to show you scores here, guys. So CPU is about the same, but though both phones are in the same condition, both did the same test, so they're good. It's fair, but the scores are higher on iOS 10. So CPU is about the same, guys. going to show you just right into it, as you can see. So multi-core score is higher on iOS 12, just like Geekbench, though the common use is higher on iOS 10. So yeah, guys, Geek single core is higher on iOS 12, 10, 
it comes to GPU, GPU did improve over iOS 10, so it's good stuff there. And the yeah, refinery is always zero on the iPhone success, always seven and above. Here, guys, you have the data security score higher on iOS 10. That's a beta, taking that into consideration. As you can see, guys, user experience score is better on iOS 12. Good stuff there. RAM actually is better on iOS 10. So it makes sense, guys. I mean, this phone did refresh far less apps than this one. Because of PUBG, guys, actually killed the RAM management, but still, this phone managed to keep more apps in the background. Right, guys, there you had it. That was a comparison between these two pieces. I want to say, guys, that RAM management actually is way better on iOS 10. I uh, didn't really notice that in the previous beta, but now because I did test PUBG, I actually saw that actually iOS 10 is more capable of RAM management, way more guys, so still, it's not perfect, so iOS 10 was better for multitasking. Plus, uh, CPU is about the same, battery life is still better than iOS 10, guys, so till now, iOS 10 still looks better than iOS 12. But those are the second beta, so um, I'm expecting at least eight betas to, to go, guys, like beta 9 or something will be the last one, let's say, or beta 10. So guys, by then I think they're gonna be the same. So hope you guys like the video, subscribe more for more content and peace out.